stick around to see three easy crafts that uplift the black community and make us feel proud of our heritage. And it was all inspired by this awesome book. Just in time for Black History Month, so you don't wanna miss this. Stay tuned. What a wonderful world. Hey everybody, it is Cheryl, the activity author, and I am here to bring you another special book inspired craft all in time for Black History Month. And hey guys, if you don't know me, I'm Cheryl. I make easy kids crafts out of household items that are usually inspired by books books by independent authors and self-published authors you know because us independent authors we don't get enough shine so why not <laughs> and i also create activities and games for kids so if you rock with my content and you love having kids with activities i mean hit that like button hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you know every time that i post so now I am so excited to tell you guys about the book that inspired all of these uplifting crafts. And that book is called This Is Our History by Virtuous Cornwall, illustrated by Emanuela Namak. I just love this book because it is filled with so much knowledge of our history from Africans and African Americans and it also reiterates that our history it starts well beyond slavery I mean unlike what they're teaching our kids in the schools you know but really this book will uplift children and help them to see that our history is beyond chains and ships this amazing children's book will take you on a journey into the continent of Africa and so many other places this book is filled with positive affirmations and it will help build children's confidence and reassure them that they must know who they are okay this book is paired with an activity book that you can also purchase and that book reinforces the messages from our first book it gives readers a chance to be creative and teach them all about things like Africa, how to draw the continent of Africa, and it also has more positive affirmations that your child will just love. So this is a great book to use in a history class or a workshop, or it's just a great way to show kids who they are. So lastly, guys, our author Virtuous is no stranger to this activity author channel. No siree. This is actually the third book I crafted that belongs to her. So y'all remember the Animalville series a while back? Yeah, the books that teach us all about germs and healthy habits and the books that also taught us about thankfulness and gratitude. Well, yes, I'm excited to tell you guys that this is the third book from Virtuous that we are crafting. So this is definitely going down in activity author history as one of the most used book series from any author on this channel. If you want to check out Virtuous and all of her many awesome books, especially the books that we are crafting today, drop down in that description box right now. I got links on how you can follow her. I got links to the books and the activity books and all her previous books. So just drop down there for a big fun link party, okay? Links are all in the description box. So without further ado, we gotta get to these adorable crafts that I made for you inspired by this awesome book. Let's go. Before we got started with everything today, I wanted to tell you all of the materials are listed in the description box below. So you're gonna see me using paper towels, but if you don't have paper towels, you can use coffee filters as well. They kind of give the same effect. So we're gonna take a couple sheets of paper towels, cut the squares the way you want them. You can do the small rectangles or the big ones. We're deciding to do the big ones. So that means we have two squares excuse me, two rectangles together making one big size like this. So you wanna start off by folding it just like this or any way you wanna fold it, honestly. You can copy me or you can do your own folding style. It doesn't matter because you cannot mess this craft up. I recommend this for kids three or even two years old. If a two year old's advanced, they could probably handle it too. My two year old handled it pretty well. So kids three and up should definitely handle this with no problem. 
no matter how you dip your paper into your solution it will have a beautiful pattern so all i did guys was i just had a little bit of water and i used a couple drops of food coloring so that it was kind of pigmented like this dipped it in on each corner and i ended up getting this gorgeous print just like how african prints and fabrics are that was my inspiration behind this See? how beautiful so beautiful so, bear is so strong. love it and it's so easy i had to show you my four-year-old is doing hers right now i'm just trying to help her crease it she dipped it in herself and now reveal time all right Ooh, this is so pretty kimmy yep. beautiful Ooh, this is cute look you can't mess this up parents cannot mess this up yeah. This is the easiest. Beautiful. Ready, Kimmy? Look at these colors. Let's put this to the side. Look at. Oh, look at that. It's kind of like a bird. Oh, really? Yeah, it does look like a bird. I see the bird head and the wings and the tail. Oh, you are so creative. You want to do another one? Yep. Yeah. Let's do another one. And that will be your child's response if they try this. So I guarantee parents definitely want to start with this this is actually going to be the foundation for all the other crafts that we do because i'm going to incorporate this fabric print with all the rest of the crafts for this video so keep watching to see how creatively i incorporated this okay now after you've made the desired amount of fabrics you can actually start playing around with doing some in rubber band like you would do normal tie-dye so you can see that i'm just putting a rubber band around my paper towel and I'm just kind of just leaving it like so dipping it in and it gives the most beautiful like burst pattern you know like tie-dye burst so you can use that as well so make sure you allow this to dry fully before using it I am using a wax paper so that the colors can stay on our paper towel and stay as pigmented as possible um, but just leave it flat to dry and it will have a beautiful effect. This is my daughter actually trying hers. And look, see, I told you, kids can handle this themselves. And hers turned out nice as well. Ooh, it looks like a bursted grapefruit orange. <laughs> but I just love these colors. They just give me such Africa vibes, you know, Lion King. So you can use any colors you want to, but I just love this. And the last method I'm going to show you guys is kind of like a droplet method. You can take a popsicle stick and take the same solution and just drop it like this. Or you can use a dropper. I got mine from a medicine cabinet. And there's my daughter putting googly eyes on this because she swears it looks like a monster. Which it does remind you of that craft we did from Virtuous's first book, The um, Virus Busters. Remember that one? Well, if you don't, here, click this card up top. <laughs> All right, so guys, now we're gonna show you how I'm going to use this in our second craft. Now, one of the activities in this activity book shows you how to draw the continent Africa, right? So what you could do is draw the continent of Africa just like this, and then use that onto our next craft. Now, if you can't draw it, you can also go to um, Google, our Africa clip art in that's how this one came up for me so thank you clip art library for this wonderful template of Africa so I use this to cut out my shape I printed it saved it on my computer and then um, I am cutting it out on a piece of black construction paper killing two birds with one stone now after you finish you will have your silhouette that looks like this and all you need to do is glue it on top of your tie-dye fabric that we made in the first craft. Y'all look how gorgeous this turned out. And you know you can always have your child frame it or add on here some affirmations from the book. Let me show you another way that you can do silhouettes. You can do silhouettes of whatever you want. You can do silhouettes of Serengeti tree. You can also trace and cut out a silhouette of a human like this. 
And what you could do is add positive affirmations from the book all around this human. So there is a way you can incorporate the affirmations and you can incorporate any shape from Africa you would like. So I would love to see all the different ways that you guys are working this silhouette craft. And please take pictures and tag me on Instagram because I will be looking for your artwork. Now, of course, I had to make a crown because crowns are mentioned all up and down this book. So I'm going to show you an easy way to make a quick crown. And then I'm going to show you the special way we made the crown and we incorporated those fabrics from before. So take a piece of yellow construction paper. Mine is the size of this. And then you're going to take a, a ruler. I couldn't find my ruler, so I'm just taking a straight edge and I am drawing triangles. I can draw them straight across for that first crown like the girl has. Or you can do three triangles like the crown from the young gentleman in the book. <laughs> Now, as you finish cutting this out, um, you're going to need a band to go around the back because it will be too small for your child's head the way it is. Yes, your child does have a big head. So you're going to have to uh, take the rest that you just cut off, the excess that you cut off, use that to make a band. That is what I'm going to do. And once I'm done, it will be a beautiful yellow crown. Now, all you have to do is take some glue or stapler, staple this part onto this part. And I got this to be the same size, like I said, because I kind of just made a mental note of it and started cutting along that. So I'm going to staple it for quick fastening. And then I'm going to measure it around my daughter's head and I'm going to staple it closed and it will be her crown. So now check out this cool way that we turned this into an African crown by adding this African fabric we made earlier. Here's another sheet of it. Oh, beautiful print. I just love the way this looks, guys. So I'm going to have my daughter help me make a shape um, onto our crown. And you guys just check out how the results are at the end. And one thing you're going to notice when your paper towel dries, it's going to come apart just like this. So you can use that to your advantage um, and just overlap those. It makes a beautiful design when you overlap, as you can see on my crown behind me. But yes, that is how you can incorporate this fabric to make some cute little designs. So I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Take pictures, tag me. Okay, I usually do three, but I gotta leave y'all with one more. Now this family tree theme has been reoccurring in this book and you will notice that. So we had to do something to celebrate families. And you know, I'm a big family uh, fanatic. That's why all my books are about families too. So. So what you want to do is find an old picture of your family and you basically make a frame around it and have the kids decorate it with the fabric. And my two-year-old just hopped on over to the table when she saw me cutting out these shapes and she wanted to glue them. So I'm going to let her decide how she wants to have our frame decorated. So I just told her, make sure you get all the glue and she followed directions. So this is a good one for kids two and up. Um, she's handling it very well and she made the cutest, cutest design. And you could also follow with some more positive affirmations about your family on the frame. That would be a nice little added touch to this craft. So cut it out and you are all done. So now I hope you guys just enjoyed these ideas. Please make sure to take pictures and tag me on Instagram. Here is my Instagram handle. And leave me a message or a DM and tell me how you found me. 
also i would love for you guys to check out our offer for today you make sure you go down to that description box okay and you click on those links so you can go straight to her page follow her and see all of her mini books in the animal veal series and all that she has to offer and i want to thank you for being the real mvp because you made it all the way to the end of this video so don't click off just yet i got over a hundred videos that you can watch on this channel so go ahead and click this one to the right because i know you're just going to enjoy this video and i'll see you in my next video 